All right, welcome back everybody. Mr. Gajewski here. Uh, lesson 2.1.5, how can I simplify the expression? Using algebra tiles to simplify algebraic expressions. Which is greater, 58 or 62? That question might seem easy because the numbers are ready to be compared. However, if you are asked which is greater, 2x plus 8 minus x minus 3, or 6 plus x plus 1, the answer is not so obvious. In this lesson, you and your teammates will investigate how to compare two algebraic expressions and decide whether one is greater. 246 for each expression below. Use an expression map to build the expression. Find a different way to represent the same expression using tiles. So go ahead and use your E tools and tiles there to complete these problems. A, 7x minus 3, show me that, and B, negative excuse me, minus negative 2x plus 6 plus 3. Pause the video, take a minute to do that, and then I will show you how I did it. All right, here's a 7x minus 3, and then b, minus a negative 2x plus 6, so minus the whole thing, plus 3x. 247, comparing expressions. Two expressions can be represented at the same time using an expression comparison mat. So this is different. It has two different uh, comparison mats in one, right? The expression comparison mat puts two expression mats side by side so you can compare them and see which one is greater. For example, in the picture at right, the expression mat on the left represents negative three, while the expression on the right represents negative two, right? Plus a negative three minus Two. Since negative 2 is greater than negative 3, the expression mat on the right is greater. All right, build the expression comparison mat shown at right, or explore using 247 e tool. Write an expression representing each of the expression mat, representing each side of the expression mat. All right, A, can you simplify each of the expressions so that fewer tiles are used? Develop a method to simplify both sides of the expression comparison mats. Why does it work? Be prepared to justify your method to the class. And then B, which side of the expression comparison mat do you think is greater? In other words, has largest value. Agree on an answer as a team. Make sure each person in your team is ready to justify your conclusion. All right, so think back to making zeros and flipping tiles and removing identical tiles from both sides. That's something, that last part's something new that we're gonna talk about today. But go ahead, pause the video, try this on your own, and then I'll walk you through it. All right, let's go ahead and let's take a look now. I'm gonna delete the other two. Here are my expression comparison mats. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to write what these are equal to on the board. All right, so on the left here, I have x plus a negative 2 plus 2 minus, in the bottom here, 3. All right, on the right, I have an x plus 2 plus a negative 3 minus a negative 2. I'm going to start by flipping tiles. Remember, when I move them from opposite regions, i got to flip them over. All right, what do I have now? Let's go ahead and let's write. Well, I have an x plus 2 plus a negative 5. And on the right, I have x plus 4 plus a negative 3. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to make zeros, I'm going to dump those off to the right. Here's a pair, here's a pair, here's another pair, another pair, and another pair. Okay, third step, what do I have left over? Well, on the left I see an x plus a negative 3. 
On the right, I have an x plus 1. All right, now this might be enough information for us to see it, but I'm going to go another step further. Now, if I think about these, if I were to take away an x from the left, okay, this is a plus x, this is a plus x. They mean the same thing. I can take away an x from both sides. Okay, and I have a negative 3 here and a positive 1 here. Which one's greater? The right side, the 1. All right, and the annotations are getting in the way here. All right, so which side is greater? That is the right side, okay? Uh, and if I go back, all right, can you simplify the expressions? Develop a method. Okay, my method was, if I flip back, I flip the tiles from the negative region to the positive region. I made zeros. And then I got rid of identical tiles on both sides. I'm going to clear my annotations. I'm going to scroll on down. All right, as Carl simplified some algebraic expressions, he recorded his work on the diagrams below. Explain in writing what he did to each expression comparison mat on the left to get the expression comparison mat on the right. If necessary, simplify further to determine which expression mat is greater. How can you tell if your final answer is correct? Go ahead and pause the video. All right, what I want you to do is try this. What did he do here? All right, write it down. That's not where I wanted to go. And then answer the question, which side is greater? All right, welcome back. Uh, for A, he made zeros. And for, excuse me, which side is greater? Well, I have plus one and plus a negative two. All right, one is greater than negative two. All right, part B, he flipped the tiles. Okay, and I'm not quite done yet. What else could I do? I could make zeros. Okay, over here I have a plus one. On the right I have a negative one. The left side is greater. And C. Okay, he took away identical tiles on both sides. Let's make some zeros. Zero on the right, and I have plus a negative one. Well, zero is greater than negative one, so we would say that the right side is greater. All right, use Carl's legal simplification moves to determine which side of each expression comparison map below is greater. Record of each of your legal moves on the lesson 2.1.5a resource page uh, by drawing it on by drawing on it the way Carl did in problem 249. After each expression is simplified, state which side is greater has large value. Be prepared to share your process or reasoning with the class. You do not have the resource page, but you do have the e-tools, so go ahead and open up the e-tools. All right, here's 249A, 249B. So let's see here, let's write down what we, so go ahead, pause, try this on your own. All right, record what you see, make a move, record what you see, make a move, record what you see, make a move, and when you're done, tell me which side is greater. Pause the video. Give it a couple minutes to try it on your own. All right, welcome back. What do I see here? I see plus one, two, three, four, five, plus a negative three, minus one, minus a negative two. All right, and on the right, I see plus three, plus a negative two, minus 1, minus a negative 3. I'm going to start by flipping. All 
All right, what do you see now? All right, on the left, I see plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, minus four, or plus a negative four. On the right, one, two, three, four, five, six, minus three, plus a negative three. Let's go ahead and let's make zeros. Three and three. Sorry, one, two, three, one, two. Eh, that's not gonna work. How about here? Three and three. All right, make some zeros. Ooh, and I can take away another zero here. What do I have left over? Well, I have three on the left, three on the right. They are equal. Let's talk about B. All right, I'm going to start by flipping. Actually, I should bring those back. Uh, what do I see here? All right, on top, I have an x plus 4 plus a negative 2. On the bottom, I'm taking away 2 and a negative 1. On the left, I have x plus 1 plus a negative 2 minus a negative 4. Now let's flip. And flip. And what do we see now? All right, well, I still see an x. Nothing changed, didn't take anything away yet. And I see plus one, two, three, four, five, plus a negative four. I have x plus five plus a negative two. Go ahead and make zeros. Take away a pair here, and here, and here. Take away my zeros. X plus one, X plus three, all right. Take away identical tiles from both sides. On the left, I have one. On the right, I have three. The right side is greater. Okay, so again, my process. I'm going to flip the tiles. I'm going to make zeros or combine like terms. And then I'm going to take away identical tiles from each side. Just about done here. Let's go ahead and let's wrap her up. Jump on over back to the ebook. All right, new learning log. All right, continue your learning log in the front of your binder. 250 learning log. In your learning log, explain each of the types of legal moves that you can use to simplify and compare expressions. For each type of legal move, sketch an example. Title this entry Legal Moves for Simplifying and Comparing Expressions and include today's date. So for this one, my recommendation is gonna be, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna say legal moves for simplifying and comparing expressions, today's date, All right? And then what I want you to do when it says sketch, I want you to go back to this problem here, 248, and I want you to sketch A, B, and C, what you see here, you don't have to include all the tiles, right? But on this left-hand side, okay, what do we have going on here? Well, we are making zeros. How about B? We are flipping tiles. And C, removing identical tiles from both sides. So I have that written here, right? You can make zeros, flip tiles in the region, and remove identical tiles from both sides of the mat. And it should look like these. So draw these 
match them up with these statements. Once you are done with that, you are done with the lesson. The assignment starts at 51, goes all the way down to 55. We're going to do all of the problems. And that is it for today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.